Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I have to wash my crusty car. There's a sandstorm here, I think. I thought I could chat a little bit. So the last video I posted was the worst reviewed nail salon. I still have the nails on. I was going through the comments and I see very few comments. Like I want to say three to four. It's not even a lot. No one cared. No one gives a shit. And they're like, you know, you're making fun of India and you hate Indians and and then you're also, what is it, biphobic and you hate you're homophobic, you're straight, you're gay. A bunch of accusations, bro. I just woke up and I'm like, what now? What did I do? I, I'm so confused. And then until I watched the video, I was like, oh my God, is is this why people are offended? Was in the salon oh with us. Hashtag stay strong India. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> oh, I'm like, you're so weird. What did you just say? <laughs> Out of nowhere, I'm like talking with the nail. She's like, hashtag save India. And I'm like, what now? It's stay strong, not safe. Oh, okay. Honestly. So you see my friend and I were driving and she's obviously her eyes are on the road and I'm talking shit about my nail. Dubai has these big boards of stay safe India. Like they have hashtag stay safe India. It's like everywhere here. And as she's driving, she reads that on the board and I didn't even pay attention to that. So I'm caught off guard and I was like, wait, what did you say now? And I started laughing and I'm like, what you just blurt out about India? Like I'm talking about my nails. Like what's wrong with you? That's like the face I made. And they're like, she hates Indians. Like how? How did people come to that conclusion? Like what? I'm I'm laughing at Laylee because she said that hashtag like, stay strong India. <laughs> You're so weird. You randomly say it and I'm like, what it's is she? Back. I know it's back. It's back again. I hashtag like stay it, strong you know. India. Lady always does this shit. She blurts out stupid things and she doesn't even pay attention to my stories. Sometimes she'll be like, what the fuck? Is that a Shein shoe you're wearing? I just laughed at her and then people took that and changed the whole narrative. Like, dude, I am so like flabbergasted over that. I was just like, how did you? How did you? And after that, oh, it gets even f***ing worse. You know about pronouns, right? So how people go like, what are your pronouns? Is it he, she? Because she likes straight men. She goes, <laughs> yeah, I got a straight line to just make sure everyone is on straight. Are you non-binary straight? Yes, like, I'm non-binary <laughs> straight female baby and uh, lady she. trash can. <laughs> I've seen these tweets. I know I've seen it. I'm going to put it on here. I've seen the specific tweets on Twitter with my own eyes when they go like, my pronouns are I am a teapot. Pronouns are trash can. It's a little joke of TikTok. How is that when they make jokes, they get a billion retweets and 4,000 likes and I make the same joke. I'm problematic. I'm pathetic. And I'm like, these girls commenting like, I'm bisexual and I'm non-binary and your joke offended me. How dare you? And I'm like, you can be bisexual. You can be a dinosaur. I don't know. I don't care. Like, I don't know who you are. These are all jokes and they're all taken so out of context and it's just, I, I'm so confused. There's another part where Lily's like, the reason she drew a line on my nail to show other people that she's straight. And someone's like, that's homophobic. How am I homophobic now? <laughs> Is there anything left, guys? Anti's anti-Semitic, anti-black, anti- white anti south asian now the only people that that's left is like i don't know irish I, like i'm really fucking hurt okay i'm at the car wash right now you're homophobic i'm literally asexual and i'm not validated do you know none of my friends think i'm asexual like no one believes me they think if you're asexual you understand when you tell people you're asexual the first thing they say is you've not you've had not good had sex that. you don't get good dick and i was like done it all i've had everything i can and i've seen it all trust me it's not the dick it's me it's, sometimes it's you you dumb bitch it's it's your fault it's you okay it just even stings seven times more when people around me don't even validate me and then they call me homophobic don't get it again very painful very very painful don't don't be an influencer be a fucking astronaut you'd rather get lost and like neptune and whatever like i'm so confused how did a nail video people found three things wrong with it and also like one thing i want to talk about is that women get more shit like our standards are here versus men. Like a white guy could make the same joke and he would get away with it versus me. Like I can't make the same joke because I'm either like I'm cringy, I'm unfunny. Before at some point we need to have a conversation about why female commenters, commentators get more shit than male commentators or why female YouTubers get canceled for less than male YouTubers, literally. Same thing I fucking said. Like, I'll have to make the stupid nail straight joke to be canceled. But like a man, he needs to like fuck a child. Like he needs to sleep with an actual child. Not a 17 year old. Because even then they'll be like, well, 17 is kind of old. It's kind of an adult, you know? No, men need to sleep with actual children to be canceled. But like women, we make such stupid fucking jokes and we're unfunny, canceled. Like how? Most people who twist up the narrative and like make shit about like 
small things are people who don't like me and that's okay and these are people who don't ever want to see me succeed and that's also totally fine but when you take something and you're like hmm how do I twist this and change the whole narrative and make this person look horrible that's an issue I know I'm gonna get bigger and I'm gonna get way more stories made about me and I can't like come up here and like address everything every single day my content is supposed to be pathetic horrible insensitive and like the mean girl humor like that it's like a character we play here do you guys want me to be like vanilla like hey guys I'm going to wash my car today Oh my god, look, that's the sky. Oh my god, look, that's a Kia. Like, oh my god, that's my ex. If you want me to be that vanilla and boring, tell me. I, I'll be that. I, I'm a simp. I'm gonna do what you want me to do. There was a time when I had, like, <laughs> I had a vlog where I had, like, an Asian person, I had a white person, I had a black person in, in, in one vlog. And I remember someone commented, and say such a diverse, diverse queen. queen. We love we diversity. diversity. We, I love I how love she's how so friendly, friendly with all with cultures, cultures and, and races. races. I get praised for the stupidest shit. But I also get thrashed on the internet for the stupidest shit again, like, I don't know. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I just want to make videos. Are you jealous? Is it because I'm pretty? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just like trying to vlog and just be honest. Like, I'm a little exhausted. Like, mentally too, I have a, a fucking block in my head. Like, influencers are stupid as fuck. I'm stupid as fuck. Please don't keep standards for me. I'm only here to entertain you. I'm not your best friend and I'm not your role model and I'm not your moral compass and I'm not your friend. Like I'm only here to entertain you for money. Just being as honest as I can. I don't know why I have such high standards. I'm not a, I, I don't know what people think I am. Like I never, I don't want to be a role model at all. And please don't be a huge fan of me. That's even fucking worse when I get here from people. Like I was such a huge fan. She's a pathetic loser now. You have nothing to gain from being a fan of a creator. Like genuinely nothing. Ooh, I'm going in. Please just understand that I'm absolutely not the perfect person you all want me to be. I will fall short. Oh I will fall short at times. Thing. Oh my God! Look, how cool is this? I want to apologize. I literally don't care, girl. Like whatever you are, your label, your labels, I, doesn't affect me or my life at all. I think I'm being really careful, and I just still get swamped. But yeah, I thought of just coming here, clearing shit out, guys. So what's an oil change? Everyone keeps talking about it, like my dad and stuff, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. And even this guy is like, ma'am, you need an oil change or your car's gonna explode. And I'm like, okay. And I wanna kill myself anyway right now. Might as well get my car exploded right in my face. Kali, oh my God, look at the line here. Why is everyone's car dusty today? Is it the sandstorm? Don't be an influencer, shit. Remember in the video I said I was gonna be an Uber driver if YouTube didn't work out? This fucking close. <laughs> This fucking close to being an Uber driver. Oh my god, imagine I quit YouTube and I just drive around in Dubai. Dude, somebody hit my car from the side. Oh, who did that? Asshole. Let me walk you to the gas station that we have here is insane. I'm so used to seeing this that I don't even realize how crazy our gas stations are. So I got a tourist with me and she was like visiting the city. I took her to the gas station and she was like, is this your grocery store, like your supermarket? I love gas station food, especially their hot dogs, oh my god. Anyway, now I'm gonna head off to this um, place called Pole. They have these insane cauliflower wings. It's on Jamaica Road, okay, it's a little far. Look at how good that looks. Guys, we're doing freestyle trampoline. Dude, the sky is so pretty. We should take some pics, you know. Dude, there are a bunch of kids coming out of this place. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure it's for us? Yeah. Finally here! Exciting! Whoa! Dude, this is so embarrassing. It's literally for children. Oh my god, I thought it was a man too! <laughs> we just did it. We're fucking exhausted. We're such kids, honestly. Lily, how was it? Whoa. Um, tired. How found a boyfriend? A tiny one. He's so sweet. Yeah. So next stop, we're going to unwind. Guys, I used to actually, I applied for a job here and I got it. Literally two days before my YouTube video uh, got like 10,000 views. Shout out to Unwind, it's a board game cafe. I got the snowman milkshake. What did you get? <laughs> oh, <was> so bad. <laughs> Garlic bread, apparently. So we got, what is it? Prep. We got the Dubai Monopoly. <laughs> Take a wild guess who lost them. She has, she has change, and then we have tens, and then we have the ones. <laughs> Look at her face. 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 Look at her face.
home, I have it in Jumeirah, and look at what she has. The best properties on the board, my love. Oh my god. Look at her, she's out to get me. Oh my god. She's literally a dog. Oh my god. Okay, god, I hope this is not hanging. Honestly, okay, 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 okay. Oh, you're such a sweet girl. Oh, oh. Oh, she's leaking me! What a sweet girl! Oh my god, I might get a dog! This is Lady's pussy, guys! I'm at Zoltar! Oh my god, I love you, bro! Please give me a good fortune! You can do it! Pull away! <laughs> come on, come on! Give me something good! Waiting, beauty man! You're getting cancelled on YouTube! <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> Woo! My name is Zoltar the Gypsy, okay. and I have some words of wisdom to bring you much happiness. Hi. How are you? What's mine? Instant gratification is tempting, it doesn't always lead to long term happiness. Try resisting human nature by looking beyond. It's true, what he said. Well, no, he's lying. He's lying. <laughs> he's lying. He's lying. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> 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 